I'm Peter Cook. I'm here to ask you to back my GoFundMe project to stop Brexit or to break Brexit before Brexit breaks Britain. We had huge success up to June the 8th we, where we have leavened Theresa May's majority such that she can't actually implement hardcore Brexit and we're now caught between hardcore Brexit, soft Brexit, clean Brexit, red, white and blue Brexit. I don't know what Brexit we're on currently. People say to me, surely it's too late. Absolutely not. Article 50 has been signed, but it's not ratified. And in any case, it's quite reversible. Now, our membership of the EU costs us 37 pence a day for 70 years of peace, which the EU has contributed to. That's not bad in itself. But then we've also got an economic benefit of 500 million people on our doorstep. We've got the ability to travel uh, widely in Europe or free movement across Europe. Lots of social benefits, lots of environmental benefits. If we shut the door to Europe, we probably open the door to Donald Trump to import his chlorinated chicken, his GM foods, to take over our NHS and various other things. Think about it. So 37 pence a day, but actually it's going to take us about 30 years to recover from our Brexit. Trillions of pounds of debt. So the economics does not add up. Not that it's all about economics. Perhaps we should have had a referendum to decide whether to reform our relationship with the EU, but we weren't offered that. I think many people would have taken it. In any case, I think that if we stop Brexit, it will actually result in a reformation of our relationship with the EU, which I think many people would like some reforms, as indeed our own parliament needs a lot of reform, and all polit politics and politicians do need an occasional spring clean. Nonetheless, leaving the EU is certainly one way not to achieve that. We need to stay in there, inside the tent, to be in there to actually influence that debate and make a better Britain in a united, reformed Europe. And that's what we're here to do. Some people say, well, Jeremy Corbyn will sort this out. But Jeremy Corbyn also wants hardcore Brexit. And his numbers don't add up. His reforms of the NHS, social care, education are laudable, absolutely laudable, but they're not affordable, particularly if you're going to do Brexit at the same time. So one trillion pounds worth of debt that we're going to mount up over 10 years and 60 billions to leave the EU, you cannot do your progressive reform plans with the NHS and so on if you're going to have that kind of debt racking up in the next 10 or so years. So we need to reform the Corbyn outlook on Brexit as well. Now, we have four objectives for this project. The first one is to break this parliamentary paralysis, which bedevils most of the parties, particularly the Labour Party and Conservative Party. To this aim, we're attending the Labour Party conference in Brighton in September. We'll be speaking at it. We're also going to be performing at it with our unique number 10 vigil offering, which we use at Downing Street most of the time. This combines art, music, performance art and other things to get under the skin of people and to actually convert the, the large number of Labour Party MPs that actually want to remain. We plan to do the same thing at the Conservative Party conference in Manchester. We want to get those Conservatives that are at the moment following like sheep to start actually rethinking the whole thing and saying, no, we don't want Brexit at any cost. Our second objective is to mastermind press and media activity using the skill set I have within Human Dynamics and the Academy of Rock, my day job, to use that skill set to mastermind our command of the press and start getting positive messages out about the fact that we can remain, that it's not too late, uh, to tell the story of how Brexit will make a better Britain in a united Europe. Thirdly, we want to offer a series of masterclasses and keynotes around the UK and the EU in order to actually get that word out there to the public. And finally, we're going to make an album of songs which I'm calling Brexit Free. This will tell the tales of life without Brexit. A Brexit-free life. A better Britain in a united, reformed Europe. And we're going to get together a lot of musicians and make a professional album, record it properly, put it out there and actually reach people's hearts 
rather than their heads, because music is the language of the senses, really. Now, you might say to me, Peter, why do we need you full time on this? Um, you know, surely it's enough to just have volunteers doing their best efforts. I've been so impressed. I, I completely agree that the voluntary effort that's been going on to support the Remain activity is absolutely laudable. It isn't, however, continuous. Sometimes it's fragmented. And I'm planning to offer a continuous full-time input to this. And I think it's actually needed to kill this thing dead now because uh, she has survived nearly everything that we've thrown at her. So I think we need a little bit of stronger medicine. I also plan to provide all of my professional skills to this, of which I have a few. So I think I'd like to suggest to you that we really need to put the effort in full time here. Now, I'm not employed with a day job and therefore I can do this in my spare time. I'm self-employed and putting it crudely, if I don't work, I don't eat and nor do my family. I have a family of four to feed. So I'm not asking you for a few train tickets. I'm asking you to professionally back this for a limited period and one time to try and kill this Brexit thing off. In the words of Bob Geldof, just give me the money, please. But don't do this for me. Do this for you. More importantly, do it for your kids and your grandkids because they're the ones that are going to inherit the Brexit shambles that we're slowly drifting into. We need to act now. I'd like you to look at the GoFundMe site forward slash stop Brexit and let's stop Brexit. Let's break Brexit before Brexit breaks Britain. Thank you for listening.